If you just got sucrose by wishing on this banner, okay, the banner is about to expire. And I was supposed to make this video a little sooner, but hey, hey terrible me. I'm making the same video fourth time, okay? So I need you guys to like the video if you truly enjoyed it, okay? So there are two ways of using sucrose, okay? The first one is uh, using sucrose as a support character, and you make your teammates do lots of damage. And uh, then uh, the other way how you can go and build sucrose is use her as a main DPS. Uh, I'm talking about like an on-field driver. And I think like out of all the on-field drivers in Genshin Impact, sucrose is the best at least when you're fighting more than one enemies at a time we're gonna look at all of that let's get into the video all right starting off with sucrus up uh, constellation wise let's say if you do not have any constellation the best thing that you can go and do with sucrus is use her as a support character and support character means like use her just like you will use kazuha and i will like compare both of these characters and i'll give you like a general int fuck the only artifact you have to use is for Peace for Death and Venner artifact with Elemental Mastery, Goblet, Headpiece, and Sands. Now, how does her kit goes and works? Um, we have Ningguang with no Elemental Mastery, we have Candice with no Elemental Mastery, and we have Bennett with no Elemental Mastery. And my Sucrus has this much Elemental Mastery, so I'm gonna go and Swirl. Okay, Sucrus did the Swirl, and now my Bennett has 175 Mastery, my Ningguang has 175, and my Candice has 175. Now I'm gonna go and do one more thing. That one more thing is I'm going to take my Bennett, apply Pyro, and Sword Pyro. V took advantage of two passive of Sucrose. This passive, if she swords a particular element, the same element characters will have additional 50 elemental mastery. That's how my Bennett got additional 50 elemental mastery, and my Ningguang and my Candice did not got the extra ones. All right, so she increased elemental mastery of your characters so what the heck does that go and do for me yeah that's the best question i think you can come up with so elemental mastery increases damage okay if you go over here you click on this it increases uh, all the damage every single reaction based damage is increased if you increase the elemental mastery of the character but elemental mastery always is not the best stats but if you have good crit good attack then elemental mastery is going to make a whole lot of difference just in increasing the damage and let me show you how much that does go and make difference so i will be using my shangling and the shangling that i will be using for you guys is going to be a special shangling and because uh, you know the stats of the shangling is 110 percent crit rate so that i can show you all the best damage i can all right so we're gonna go to our friend here um, um uh, we have to use bennett because we need bennett's luck and uh, we also want to use kokumi just in case because i'm terrible at dodging so let's let's just do that shangling hey man how you doing mate hello let me just do this then this show me seven thousand eight thousand okay so the damage is like pure eight thousand damage yeah that looks fantastic now that was all the damage without me providing any sort of support from sucrose okay i'm gonna go and do my e-skill with bennett apply the power throw with sucrose apply hydro then we have shangling uh, 12,000. All right, so we got like we get to see like a pretty decent uh, 12,000. Uh, so I'm gonna go to Sucrose. I'll change her weapon. Thrilling Tales of Dragon. This weapon increased the damage the most. Bennett, boy, show your luck to me. Apply Pyro. Sucrose. Sorrel. Shangling. Then Kokomi. E skill. Shangling. Goba. No, can we? 13,000. Oh, 14 point. Oh, no. Oh no. Yeah, I, I asked Bennett to use his luck and that's what he did. 14,500. That's fantastic. So we increased damage by how much? Like pretty insane amount. Yeah, so all thanks to Sucrose. Um, this is like the off-field Sucrose. This is how you want to use your off-field Sucrose. Always with uh, the, this one, okay? Always with Thrilling Tales of Dragon. To take advantage of Constellation 6, you have to use her burst, okay? So my Shangling has a 96 elemental mastery and 46.6% pyro damage bonus. So I'm gonna go and swirl Pyra with her burst. Right after that, your Shangling gets all the elemental mastery. And after that, you see like the additional 20 percent power damage bonus and how much damage does that go and increase well to answer to that is it increase a lot of damage so i'll just switch the artifact from my sucrose to kazuha at least that will give you a general idea of like how good or bad sucrose is in comparison to kazuha just for you guys i will go and use this weapon so that you guys feel better with this much influence mastery or you will shout at me for not having doing that so he has 935 under mastery remember more under mastery than my sucrose oh yes shengling dies to your burst 28,200, okay. 
that looks pretty fantastic i will go and use same artifact on my sucrose so 873 until mastery of my sucrose let's now first for the first try i will just use e skill of sucrose okay because that will give you idea let's say if you don't have c6 sucrose then how much damage you will go and do 30,000. Okay, so a C0 Sucrose will make your Shangling do more damage than Kazuha. And let's now check how much C6 Sucrose will increase damage of your Shangling. What is with 14? Oh, 33,000. Okay, cool. 33,000. Uh, because we're on the topic of the support Sucrose, why not we just go and decide to use something called the Trilling Tales of Sucrose? Do your burst, please. Sort of freaking Pyro. Shangling, do your burst. You do your burst. Give me some decent damage, please. 34,000. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Sucrose is the best. All right. So Sucrose with a uh, Thrilling Tales of Dragon is absolutely a freaking monster. A Caesar Sucrose will increase your damage as a support character of any of your teammates more than Kazuha. But for Freeze team where you have Ayaka, where you have Ganyu, Kazuha is going to be the best choice for these teams. But apart from Freeze teams, the Vaporize teams, the Electro Charge team, the uh, uh, what do you call that? Uh, the Dendro Aggravate teams, Sucrose is going to be the best option for all of them. Just the best one. Even at constellation zero yes now let's talk about the on-field sucrose okay the, the on-field most insane dps sucrose that you will ever go and use in Genshin impact you need two things for on-field sucrose and they are very very important and what those things are you need at least constellation one and you need at least uh, one refinement of sacrificial frag these two things are going to be very very important again the artifact is going to be four piece for death and you don't want to change that be why do you need constellation one because you see her e-skill it gives you additional charge of e-skill means that you can go and use her e skill two times in a row okay normally a c0 sucrose do not have that but a c1 sucrose has that and once you have constellation one the next most important constellation is going to be her constellation four it is a freaking magical constellation and i'll show you why one i can use her e skill three times one two and three look at that that is absolutely insane. Just by adding this weapon and Constellation 1 of Sucrose, I was able to do her E skill three times. And in front of one enemy, because Sucrose does swirl damage, just looking at one damage is not going to make you understand how much damage she goes and do. Yeah, so let me just go and do this. Okay, I did that. Now I'm going to go and soar. Look at the damage. Can you see how much absorption happened? Any Catalyst user in Genshin Impact can become a very awesome on-field driver. But the difference between all the Catalyst user in Genshin Impact versus Sucrose is that the more enemy you have in front of her, the better it is for Sucrose because her E skill has huge AoE. Okay, so I was about to show you her Constellation 4, what's so magical about it. Uh, as long as like you hit the enemy seven times, normal or charge attack hits, it will reduce her E skill cooldown from somewhere between one to seven seconds. So I think that makes her life much easier. Let's say one, two, three, four. Okay, that ended up her cooldown by such a high amount. So you just learned basically everything that you have to learn about an on-field Sucrose. Now let's look at the teams that you can go and take advantage of with Sucrose. Uh, I think the first team that I'll use for you guys is going to be a uh, Hazer team. Everybody likes Beto. Start with my official Sucrose. Do your this. Okay, that did not swirl Electro. Never mind. We're, we're doing great. Never mind. Things are looking pretty fantastic, I'll say. Yeah, I think uh, it was not that terrible. It was pretty okay. Hey man, how are you doing? It was pretty fantastic. The downside of this team is like we don't have a healer. I think like most of the people will not like it. Me personally, I don't play without a healer. The next team does have a healer. So yeah, let's look at the next team. All right, I think like this team does the most damage and I'll say uh, it's pretty fantastic. At least in terms of raw damage, you're not going to replace this team with anybody. All right, let's uh, start with Bennett. Go to your Shangling, do this. Go to your Shingcho, do this. Go to your Sucrus, do this. And I hope these guys don't push me back. Oh, what the f nice do this go to your shing Chu, apply hydra to the enemy kill them all we're looking at pretty fantastic terms of uh, in terms of 60 000, bro what the hell that was awesome rotation these were the team without dendro characters yeah so what are you looking at you want to eat some birds okay we need the birds all right now let's look at the dendro teams that we want to go and use with the sucrose because i think like you guys will be surprised by the amount of damage you go and do with your sucrose and your dendro teams yeah 
Now, in terms of Nahida, okay, she's not the best character for a team with Sucrose, okay, but apart from if you don't have Nahida, I think like the next character that you should get in Genshin Impact is definitely going to be your Nahida, okay? There's not any other character that I would recommend you to get because Nahida and Raiden Shogun 2 are a must to have five star characters in Genshin Impact. Anyways, let's start with the rotation because that's the best thing ever. Let's do this, do her burst, let's go to your Sucrose, run to this side because these guys will jump at you. All right, so do her burst and then go to your official and do her burst. Okay, then you will soar Electro. Okay, now look at the damage, bro. Look at this damage. These guys are gonna be jumping in front of you. What the hell, mate? Only downside of this team is like you don't have a healer, which uh, makes their life so freaking frustrating. Hyper Bloom teams, I think, is one of the most fun and fantastic team to go and play with your Sucrose. And I'm using Raiden Shogun because I don't have Kuki Shinobu. Okay, Kuki Shinobu is the best character for Hyper Bloom. All right, let's start with the rotation. We're gonna go and do this, okay? Do her burst. Raiden Shogun's E skill. Run to this side because you want to stay alive for some seconds. Do her E skill. Sucrose, do her E skill, yeah? Just start spa spamming her E skill. Look at that. We're doing so much damage. Uh, how much? Uh, did we kill them all? No, we did not. 29,000 damage. Or instead of like both of those characters, you can go with something like a budget official. Because official also works. Let's uh, just do this. Do this. Do this. No, no, no. Don't, go don't chase me, guys. Oh, bro. Oh. Looking great, Hyper Blooms. Spam her E skill as much as you can. Oh, nice. So we're looking at a pretty okay team. Like, I'm not gonna hate this team. It looks pretty okay. But he's alive for some reason. But we have a healer. Don't... Oh, that was not the healer. God, this guy is killing me. Anyways, don't use Hyper Bloom team with shield characters if you don't have Cookie Shinobu. It does not work. It, it's just a bad idea. Okay, let's leave. Now, this is your burning team. That's pretty much it. Like, you know, you just need Toma and your Nahida, okay? Because, um, of course, you're using Dendro characters. And Nahida and Toma with Sucrose, they are wonderful. If you guys have no idea, Verdes and Venner, it increases your burning damage. And Sucrose is the best character for using this kind of team. All right, so do this, do this, do this, and your sucrose. Guess, guess what's gonna happen now? Look at that. How much? Twenty-two hundred burning damage. Again, these enemies are very tough. Okay, it's not the most damage dealing team. But hey, it's pretty fantastic given the fact that you can basically go and burn everything. All right, I died. Oh uh, no, my shield expired. I hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, I'll see you in the next one where I'll talk about the new upcoming 5 star characters. I'll give you like a general idea of like how they all will go and work and how I personally want to go and use them. And I hope like I can guide you in that video to get one of the best 5 stars for your um, play style or your reference for the future. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it for the video guys. I'll see you in the next one.